माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स मैं आप लोगों को अपने चैनल ललित सर केमिस्ट्री चैनल पे आपका स्वागत करता हूँ आप मेरा नाम सर्च करके आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हैं मेरे चैनल का नाम है ललित सर केमिस्ट्री चैनल अब जैसे ही आप यूट्यूब पे टाइप करेंगे मेरा पहला या दूसरा नाम ही आपको मिल जाएगा टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर स्टैंडर्ड इलेवेंथ एज वेल एज फॉर ऑल दो स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गोइंग टू गिविंग कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लाइक जे डबल ई एंड नीट फॉर दैट दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज मेनी मोर क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस टॉपिक दैट इज रूल्स फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर बाई यूजिंग ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर वी कैन फाइंड मेनी मोर थिंग्स दैट हेल्प अस टू नो अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सब्सटेंसेज एंड ऑल दिस things so here what are those rules on the basis of that we are going to calculate oxidation number oxidation number the short number we write oxidation number on we write here so if we see the rules the first rule says that if there is a any atom or any molecule which is found in nature in free state their oxidation number will be zero or their aggregate sum will be zero so you know if we see in periodic table so there are 118 elements and all these elements they having their own own symbol here just if we see we are talking about hydrogen we are talking about hydrogen so hydrogen that egg, that is repelled by H, but it exists in nature in the form of H two. So, if any element is there that exists in the nature in the form of molecule, so their oxidation number will be zero. Or if we take like a sodium, like sodium, the symbol of sodium is Na, and in nature sodium exists as a Na, so its oxidation number will be zero means any element which is exists in the form of molecule or in the form of atom in the nature their oxidation number will be zero this is the first rule first rule so according to that if we take lithium or if we take potassium or if we take magnesium or we take calcium Here, their oxidation numbers, their oxidation number will be zero. Or if we take Cl two, or if we take O two, or if we take N two, so their oxidation number will be zero. Their oxidation number will be zero. So this is the first rule. Second rule, oxidation number, oxidation number. of oxidation number of hydrogen hydrogen is plus 1 in all compounds in all compounds except peroxide Except, sorry, ex, except uh, metal hydrides. Except metal hydride, that is, that is minus one. Means if we take some normal compounds of hydrogen, like H two O. So here the oxidation number of hydrogen will be plus one. If we take another compound like H N O three, so here its oxidation number will be plus one. If we take H two S O four, so its oxidation number will be plus one. But if we take metal hydrides, metal hydrides like N A H So here it will be minus one, 
or if we take ZN H2, so here it will be minus 1. So oxidation number of hydrogen is always plus 1, always plus 1, except, except metal hydrides. In metal hydride, the oxidation number of hydrogen is minus 1. Next rule, if we see third rule, third rule says that oxidation number, oxidation number of oxygen, of oxygen is minus 2, but minus 1 in per oxide. In normal compound, if we take normal compounds of oxygen, their oxidation number is minus 2. But if we take any per oxide, so their oxidation number is minus 1. If we take examples of such things, so if we take H2O, so oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2. If we take HNO3, so oxidation number of oxygen will be minus 2. If we take CuSO4, so oxidation number of oxygen will be minus 2. But if we take any peroxide like H2O2, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 1. If we take any oxides, peroxide other peroxide that is BaO2, so here it is minus 1. And uh, if we take Na2O2, so here is minus 1. So in peroxide, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 1. And in normal oxide, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2. So these are the three rules. So if we move ahead on the next rule, before that, you take the screenshot of this one, then we have to continue. Next rule, so finally, we will discuss something. If we take some substances, they are known as super oxide. They are known as super oxide like K2O. Like K2O. In this, the oxidation number, oxidation number of oxygen is minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 clear now we come to the next rule the oxidation number oxidation number of an molecule of a molecule is of a molecule, molecule is zero, molecule is zero if they do not, if they do not have any charge, any charge, just if we take HCl, so HCl is a molecule, so, aggregate oxidation number of this will be 0. How? Here, the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1 and oxidation number of chlorine is minus 1. So, plus 1, minus 1, that will be 0. If we take another molecules like H2SO4, so there, sum of the oxidation number will be 0. Or, if we take uh, any other molecules like H2O, the sum of the oxidation number will be 0 or if we take K2Cr2O7 so sum of the oxidation number will be 0 but if that is not a neutral molecule these are the neutral molecules as is a neutral molecule as 2 4 is a neutral molecule as 2 is a neutral molecule K2Cr2O7 is, is neutral molecule if there is a charged molecule means they carry some charges like CO 2 minus 
so when we are going to find the oxidation number of this one so that will be co3 is equal to minus 2 means how much charge it will contain over it that is equal to that or or if we have so 4 2 minus so therefore it will be written as so4 is equal to minus means why we are going to calculate the oxidation number we have to write equal to charge carried by them charge carried by them this is the rules next rule fifth rule fifth rule shows that the charge the charge the charge carry the charge carry by an atom by an atom is its oxidation number just if we have ng and over it it is written 2 so its oxidation number will be 2 means its oxidation number its oxidation number will be plus 2 if there is a al3 plus so its oxidation number will be plus 3 or here is cl minus so its oxidation number will be minus 1 minus 1 so if any element is there any element is there and that carries any charge so their charge will be their oxidation numbers oxidation number take the screenshot of this one then we have to go add now next rule say that if any element is present in first group of periodic table their oxidation number will be plus one reason because after losing one electron they becomes stable so rule number six if we see so the oxidation number oxidation number of group first element group first element is plus 1 means in group 1 which are they there is a lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium so their oxidation number their oxidation number will be plus 1 because they get stability after losing one electron after losing one electron means like this here is a lithium that loses one electron it form li plus and one electron get lost so therefore its oxidation number will be plus one because i told you ki the charge which is carried by an atom is equal to its oxidation number similarly similarly the oxidation number oxidation oxidation number of second group second group element second group element is plus 2 because they get stability after losing 2 electrons the elements in that group are that is beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium and radium clear they are the elements of group 2 and their oxidation number is plus 2 and these these one will help you while you are going to calculate the oxidation number of others other elements next is oxidation number oxidation number of 18th group 18th group is 18th group is 0 18th group is 0 because they 
having complete octet reason because they have complete they have complete octet so which elements are there there is a helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon and if you find the oxidation number that will be zero so these things they will help you they will help you while you are going to calculate the oxidation number of other element here one more is that group 17 oxidation number oxidation number of 17 group is group 17 Group is minus one because reason because they get stability they get stability after after getting one electron after get one electron but their uh, their oxidation number also. Varies that can be different, different. but minus one is the common oxidation state of group seventeen elements. Which elements are there? There is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Here, their common oxidation state. Their common oxidation number. Common oxidation number is minus one, but in different compounds it may vary. It may vary like that. Some elements are here also there that can varies in different compounds, different compounds. But here the variation is much more compared to other group of elements, other group of elements, and there are. Uh, Total eighteen groups are there, but in that there is much more variation. Due to that, we cannot make any proper rule for calculating oxidation number. So for that, we have to use calculating method for the calculation of the oxidation number. So the I hope that these rules will help you while you are going to calculate the oxidation number of any. uh atoms in a molecules let me see uh, one or two examples uh, how to calculate the oxidation number while while using these rules these rule so first of all if we see suppose we have taken a simple very simple compound one that is h n o 3 This is nitric acid. The name of this compound is nitric acid. This is a strong acid, and it undergoes complete dissociation. And it is one of the most uh, important part of aquaregia and laboratory reagents. So, in this, if we are going to find the oxidation number of nitrogen, oxidation of nitrogen, so we have to find how. let oxidation let oxidation number of n b x so oxidation number jo nitrogen ka hai that we are going to calculate in terms of x so therefore here this h n o 3 this will be equal to so if you see this so hno3 here it is a neutral molecule because it doesn't carry any kinds of charge so it will be equal to zero so now we have to separate each elements by using plus sign and their coefficient so here is how many hydrogen one hydrogen so simply we will write h then next element is started so we have to write plus how many nitrogen there is one nitrogen so we have to write only n plus there is three oxygen so it is Three and oxygen, it will be equal to zero. Now we have to place the values. So oxidation number of hydrogen in normal compound is 
that is plus 1 then here is plus nitrogen we have considered as x plus here is 3 and oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 so it will be equal to 0 now here is 1 plus x minus 6 that will be equal to 0 or therefore here is x minus 5 equal 0 because plus 1 minus 6 that will be equal to minus 5 so therefore here x that will be equal to plus 5 so therefore n is n because x we have taken for n so therefore n is equal to 5 means oxidation number of nitrogen is 5 so here it is expressed as h n o 3 h n o 3 so here we got the oxidation number of nitrogen is plus 5 in this compound and oxygen we know that is minus 2 and here is hydrogen is plus 1 so this is a way to represent the oxidation number of any compound and this is the method by which we are going to calculate the oxidation number of any molecule either it is in neutral state or in ionic state now we take another example for uh, getting this one second examples i'm taking that is k2cr2o7 this is potassium dichromate the name of this compound is potassium dichromate clear now so here we have to find the oxidation number of chromium clear so therefore we have to consider let oxidation number oxidation number oxidation number of chromium b x so therefore k2 cr2 o7 that will be equal to so here you can say this is also neutral molecule so it will be equal to zero now you have to separate them by using plus sign so coefficient of this one is two so it will be two k plus two chromium plus 7 oxygen that is equal to 0. Now we have to place the values. Here is 2 and k is plus 1 by rules. It is belong it belongs to first group. Due to that it will be plus 1 plus 2 and chromium we have to find that is x plus 7 and oxygen is minus 2 that will be equal to 0. So if we multiply so we get 2 plus 2x minus 14 that will be equal to 0 or therefore 2x here 14 goes on that side so it becomes plus 40 and this equals minus 2 so therefore 2x that is equal to 12 so therefore x equals 12 by 2 that will be equal to plus 6 so therefore x is equal to plus 6 so therefore the oxidation number of chromium A is plus 6 plus 6 by this way we can calculate the oxidation number of this one here we have uh, another compound that is CrO5 here chromium pentoxide is there so here is a typical kinds of molecules here this is known as butterfly molecules butterfly molecules in this chromium there is a one oxygen that is joined by normal oxide bond and four oxygen they are joined by per oxide bond any bond which is like bond O bond O this kinds of bond is known as per oxide bond and in peroxide bond, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 1. So here it will be minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 and it will be minus 2. 
so in this if we are going to find the oxidation number of chromium so it will be CrO5 that will be equal to 0 so here there is a chromium plus 4 oxygen are in minus 1 stage and 1 oxygen is in oxide state so here Cr plus 4 that is minus 1 plus 1 minus 2 that will be equal to 0 and here if you are going to find that is Cr minus 4 and minus 2 that will be equal to 0 so here Cr will be equal to plus 4 plus 2 so therefore Cr is that is plus 6 so the oxidation number of chromium is plus 6 in this calculation many more students uh, does uh, mistakes how simply they use like this way they use like this way Cr plus 5 oxygen is equal to 0 so here Cr plus 5 minus 2 is equal to 0 so when you calculate you will get plus 10 so this is not true because the oxidation number of any elements can't be plus 10 plus 10 so it means you if we are going to calculate such a things the oxidation number is more than plus 8 then it will be uh, some problem in your calculation means there must be some another way to calculate that so for that I taught you this one so while we are going to calculate any molecules and their oxidation number exceed from their 